Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. And today, guys, we have another how to play video with the newest card in South Park Phone Destroyer at the time of this recording, obviously, in Archangel Bradley. I know what you're thinking. It's 2021, it's very early into the year, at least when this card comes out. And we have another Bradley added to the game. But fear not, I feel like this Bradley is fairly balanced compared to some of the other previous couple of Bradleys that we've had added to the game here. But Archangel Bradley's here. He's the mystical version of Bradley cards, which means Bradley is now in every theme within Phone Destroyer now. And uh, he assists tank units, which is his special trait this time around versus previous versions, helped other types of units. So he is flying this time, so that's a little bit different. I do like the, uh, the way his card looks like on screen and all that kind of stuff and he helps allied tanks by giving them a boost to max overall health which scales up as you level him and then they also have a slow effect aura around tank units as well while archangel bradley is on the field now there are a couple things to take into consideration with archangel bradley uh, again his stats fairly balanced fairly weakish overall archangel bradley is very comparable to bounty hunter kyle as you see stat wise very similar in their overall stats uh, Bounty Hunter Kyle and Archangel Bradley similar health I mean obviously the main difference between Bounty Hunter Kyle and Archangel Bradley is one's a ranged and one's a fighter card so with Archangel Bradley he's going to be kind of up in the fight similar to obviously Imp Tweak who's also a flying fighter card or someone uh, or even like pigeons they're going to be kind of at you attacking you at close range versus Bounty Hunter Kyle being in the back and being able to snipe and give his buff out because he's at range so obviously that's a huge difference but stat wise they're very very similar so therefore a lot of the same counters that you would have for bounty hunter kyle are going to be the exact same for archangel bradley so he will be fairly easy to deal with with the way the current meta is shifted archangel bradley will die very very quickly and to little to no struggle in killing him and there's going to be tons of different ways of dealing with him and we'll talk about that in a little bit but obviously, like the previous versions of this video, we are going to talk about some of the some of my tips to try to get the best you can out of Archangel Bradley, the top five cards I think that pair best with him, some deck build suggestions that I would suggest to build around him, and then kind of a potential decent option for kind of a card rotation to try out with him to maybe get the best value out of him. This card doesn't feel like a normal Bradley, but I think it still has some benefit, but not super strong in my opinion. So again, let's look at Archangel Bradley by first starting with kind of the top five cards I think that pair really well with him. All right, guys, well, for me, the top five cards to pair with Archangel Bradley, and yes, I know there's six here on the screen. We'll talk about that real quick here in a second. But uh, I feel like Zen Cartman is probably the best overall. I mean, you got the fact that Zen Cartman has insanely high health, good scaling, cheap cost, and the fact that, you know, he's just going to slow as well as be a huge distraction uh, on top of it. It's just all the more reason why Zen Cartman is probably the best one overall to pair with Archangel Bradley. I do like uh, things like Mr. Slave. I feel like Slave does a really good job of kind of distracting cards as is. And the fact that his healing is very good right now or his enrage ability is very strong. So the fact that you can have him with Archangel Bradley to be able to slow, to be able to kind of distract. He can heal himself if he's not taking enough damage. So he can be a nuisance if Archangel Bradley is helping him be that much more annoying. Plus the fact that most people will also, or could potentially run Dar with him as well. And Dar and Slave are just an insane combo to begin with. Uh, I do kind of like Man Bear Pig and Grand Wizard Cartman. Both have kind of fallen a little bit out of the meta at least in high tier ladder, because of the fact they have high cost, very easy to cancel. And I feel like Archangel Bradley helps Man Bear Pig, especially now that he has that AoE uh, basic attack. It's very nice to also have that additional slow as well from the aura to be able to kind of help Man Bear Pig kind of deal with nuisances. But again, this is going to basically be 10 energy you're committing to, to put Man Bear Pig and Archangel Bradley on the field. But it, it could work out and could be potentially dangerous if not dealt with properly. Grand Wizard Cartman, again, in the same kind of boat. The fact that he's going to be slowing you down, his charge ability is going to blast you, and also be able to stun you temporarily after the blast. So you have that 
potential to possibly stun to also slow and then also to do a pretty decent amount of damage to whatever you're hitting with that charge ability so there, there's a lot of upside if again you're able to keep both those cards alive which can be a little bit more difficult sometimes but the fact that with most man bear pig and gray was a carmen decks you're running pope timmy anyways so you'd have pope timmy which means you're going to be generally running mystical with those two cards so then you would already potentially be able to have archangel bradley as well and maybe just sacrifice maybe a range card to add him to your deck. I'm not saying it's always going to work. It's just going to be very situational. This card feels very situationally powerful more so than, than continuously powerful. Like some of the other Bradleys have been nuisances for uh, in, in the past. And still kind of right now. And then w when we look at Henrietta and Priest Maxi, I really feel like when people get Henrietta more leveled up, Henrietta could be devastating with Archangel Bradley at the helm, with her own brother helping her out. The fact that she's going to be able to slow as well as bring all her other goth units back, obviously, could be a really sick combination. But as of right now, most of you probably don't have Henrietta to a reasonable level, so therefore Priest Maxi would be the best option in this slot instead, because the fact that Priest Maxi is a cheap cost, he's going to be a common card, so he's going to be a little bit easier to level, a little bit easier to obtain, plus the fact that he's going to be able to have an aura that he will be able to heal Archangel Bradley, as well as other units and himself and things like that. So you've got that additional healing capability to maybe keep Archangel Bradley alive a little bit longer than he may have otherwise been able to. So that's why I feel like Priest Maxi is a solid choice as well. But now that we've looked at the top five, let's look at some other good cards that are really good to pair with Archangel Bradley. All right, guys, so looking at the cards that help Archangel Bradley, a little bit shorter list than in uh, the Woodland Critters video, but uh, we look at, obviously, the top row is all the tanks. I know that uh, Man Bear Pig and Grey Wizard Cartman have made repeat performances here, but these are all the tank units on the top row, as well as some non-tank units as well. Remember, Six Element Randy and Alien Drone will drop Roombas. Roombas count as tanks, so those two cards can also get the benefit, at least from their... Uh, dropped or summoned unit basically remember that alien drone will drop it at the very very beginning of its uh, animation of it being summoned in and uh, six element randy will do it anytime he charges his ability he will drop a roomba and each of those roombas remember will get the aura around it now one thing to take into consideration the aura does not stack so if you had a say three or four roombas on the field it's not going to stack uh, on top of each other but you could spread it out throughout the course of the board or the course of the field, right? To where potentially you could slow a ton of things down. So it doesn't stack on each other. At least I'm not noticing it to do that. So don't just think that, okay, if I drop Alien Drone and Six Element Randy, get a bunch of charges out and have like seven Roombas on the field, then nobody can move anywhere and, or, or like super slow to where nobody can do anything. That doesn't seem to happen. Uh, Red Lynx has done a, a job, a good job of at least making sure that that doesn't happen. So as far as I know, there is no stacking slow with this. And there hasn't been in the past, so I don't see it happening here. Again, remember if you drop Tally on something like Lava, which both have slow effects, they don't stack on top of each other. They just affect you based on where you're at and what slow you're being affected by. Um, so then when we look at the next row, we look at cards that buff uh, Archangel Bradley. Obviously, the, the Kyles will buff him up. So uh, those will increase his damage and things like that, obviously. And then Bounty Hunter Cow could potentially help his survivability a little bit if he's able to kill some units. And then we look at the next row is obviously healing and or shielding. So you have all the mystical healing there in the first couple. Then you have the uh, adventure healing capabilities. Jesus is there as well. He can also heal. And then you have some shielding capabilities with Paladin Butters and Kyle of the Drow Elves can shield. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, Druzy, Human Kite also shields, right? He does. But remember, Human Kite does not shield flying units, so therefore, he doesn't help Archangel Bradley. So, uh, you know, you can't use that. You can't also use Mintberry Crunch, who has a healing as well, because Mintberry Crunch is also a Bradley card, and you can't play two Bradleys at the same time. So, those two cards can't be used here to help him buff him, in case you guys were wondering. Or we're going to mention that. Um, and then down at the bottom row are just some kind of maybe some helpful cards that could help him out. Robin Tweak, of course, could use his charge ability uh, to give him maybe additional health if you obviously get it to work right. And then Youth Pastor Craig could help 
uh, with cancel cards to be able to help you maybe not lose a tank card to either maybe cock magic, to unholy combustion, whatever, as far as cancels are concerned, to maybe keep them alive and make Archangel Bradley more useful if he has more tanks on the field. So that's just some cards that help Archangel Bradley. Let's talk about cards that make it much more easier to deal with him. All right, guys, looking at some cards that deal with Archangel Bradley, we have pretty much up at the top some of the cancel and direct cancel cards uh, to kind of deal with Archangel Bradley. Now, one thing that you guys might think as far as a spell or a direct cancel, that Aerostorm at the same level as Archangel Bradley will kill him. But the reason why I didn't put Aerostorm on here is for a main reason. Archangel Bradley's main focus obviously is to boost tanks. So if you're using Aerostorm, which is a four energy cost spell unit, why would you want to really use Aerostorm only to cancel Archangel Bradley? I get that situationally, maybe that's the thing you'd want to do. I'm not saying it's the worst idea ever, but generally to use Archangel Bradley the most efficiently, you would want multiple tanks on the field at the same time. So to me, using a four cost card to cancel only one of those cards doesn't seem to be a positive trade for you most of the time. Now, again, it's going to be situational. Everything is situational in Phone Destroyer or any card-based strategy game. So I get that. But to me, Lightning Bolt's the best way to deal with it. You just immediately get it off the board. Yes, it's a one energy trade, negative trade, but it could be a lot worse. I think Sorceress Leanne is great because, again, there's going to be a lot of tanks potentially. You could deal not only with Guardian Angel Bradley, but potentially all the tanks that he's buffing as well. Cock Magic may see a resurgence into the meta here now that the buff has, has come in there that it creates the Angry Cocks, remember? So because of that, that could be a potential huge devastation of wiping out multiple tank cards, wiping out multiple very strong units, and then of course getting rid of him potentially as well. Uh, I feel like Alien Queen Red could work pretty decent. Uh, I know, or Poison in general. Poison as a spell could also deal with him very quickly and be able to kill him off. And then Alien Queen Red could not only poison him, but poison the other tank units as well, kind of dwindling them down and getting them off the field. Obviously, Purify has kind of seen a resurgence in the meta as well since it's buff. So that could obviously cancel that uh, potentially. But I feel like both Poison options would be good as well. And then I guess you could even use Marine Craig if you're lucky. They get Marine Craig to hit uh, Bradley and then possibly take him out also. So, I mean, there are some some other non-traditional ways to deal with him as well in this top row. Then we've got uh, kind of cards that can easily swarm him or other flying units that could easily take him out. Remember, because he's flying, he's going to be a little bit harder to target. You can't just target him with any uh, unit on the ground. So, obviously, any flying card would be much easier to deal with him and take him out a little bit quicker possibly than other range cards because other range cards could potentially be distracted by other units on the ground whereas the flying units i'm not saying they're going to target other flying units first it, it does depend on situationally where you place them but if archangel bradley is up close next to another tank remember because he's a fighter card you can easily position another uh flying card very close to him and take him out very quickly uh pigeon gain would easily swarm him and devastate him uh, Thunderbird would slowly take him out, obviously, with its charge. And then the other flying units are pretty self-explanatory as far as their, most of them being range cards and would just kind of deal with them naturally. Uh, I think Visitors would be very good, obviously, to deal with them. He's got very low health, so Visitors could chip him down very quickly with their very fast attack speed and damage output. Ink and Craig's Beam would pretty much just wipe him off the board within seconds. Uh, so that's, and because Ink and Craig is still widely used in the meta, it, it I'm not saying he's the best way to deal with him. Probably going to be one of the ways a lot of people are going to deal with him the most, the easiest if you do see him in, in matches. Uh, Satan would be very good to be obviously used as Warcry. He would blow up, obviously, uh, him very quickly. And then potentially do a decent amount of damage to the tank units that uh, could kind of sway in your favor. Prison Garrison Charge ability would kill it. Uh, Standing Many Moons, same thing. Labar Jimmy and Rogue Token, potentially, depending on their levels could counter him very easily and kill him with their war cries as well. So there's just a ton of ways to deal with Archangel Bradley because of his uh, health, even though, yes, he's a flying unit, which gives him a little bit better potential to stay alive at times. He's still very easy to deal with due to his low health scaling. So he, I don't really see him being as big of a problem as previous Bradleys as stated. So now that, again, we've looked at all the different ways to both boost him and deal with him, Let's kind of talk about a potential good rotation to use with Archangel Bradley to maybe get the most out of him. 
Obviously, like I said earlier, I think one of the best ways to utilize Archangel Bradley is to try to have as many tanks on the field as possible. Again, to me, the best possible start could potentially be using something like Zen Cartman or any preferable tank, whichever one you prefer or whichever one you have in your deck. I know that tanks have seen kind of a resurgence and then kind of a removal from the meta and have been kind of in and out. And maybe this card can kind of assist maybe bringing tanks a little bit back. Slow methodical pushes don't seem to be quite as strong as they once were in previous metas, but have seemed to kind of make a slight comeback. And maybe this card again can kind of help back in that direction. Uh, another good way to then go about it, again, based on what tank you put down there, is to kind of put maybe some kind of range support or something else behind some of the other tanks to kind of give it a little bit of extra oomph and kind of deal with whatever cards are kind of going around you. If you can get multiple tanks out before deploying Archangel Bradley, that's going to be the best situation for you. Then on top of that, the big thing is going to be just being able to try to keep your units alive or your tanks alive as best as possible. Whether that's using kind of healing spells, using uh, a buffs to damage with something like Ninju, to be able to have as many units on the field and as much distraction as humanly possible as well. Now one thing that some people really get kind of confused with is again the how big the aura is as far as the slow is for these tank units comparable to other units that have a slow similarly to this now one unit that's very close and similar proximity as far as how the aura works is tally so if you look here on screen i've put a comparison uh, to show you kind of where how I, how big the tank aura is buffed by archangel bradley versus what tallies is so as you can see the tank aura is a little bit bigger that archangel bradley provides than what tally does but again same premise same kind of 360 full 360 direction but again, is not is a little bit bigger, so it would be a little bit more beneficial than Tally. But again, if both these units are on the same unit, it will not stack on each other. So just be mindful of that. One big thing that I would also suggest or uh, make you wary of that I didn't mention in the counter cards is Fireball could be a decent way of dealing with a giant push that you have established, depending on obviously the health of all your of all your units. So if you're not cautious, you could put too many units around or kind of bunch your units up with a, a bunch of tank cards, which is generally something that most tank kind of decks really do, is kind of kind of morph together towards the center of the battlefield, which could be devastating for something like Fireball, or Satan could come in and basically wipe out your entire push, and, get be, and it could be dealt with and wiped out very quickly. Also, because of Archangel Bradley's low health, he could obviously die very quickly, and then it just wouldn't make the push as feasible. Also because of Archangel Bradley's very low cost, be sure to try to cycle through to him as long as you have at least one tank, preferably two or more tanks, on the field at the same time. Because the fact of his low cost, he could be cyclable very quickly, and if you have enough units out on the field, you could just potentially cycle him almost constantly uh, with him being only three energy and potentially have him use his effect to its best capabilities pretty much as much as humanly possible. Again, there are a lot of different tanks that work well with Archangel Bradley, but again, Archangel Bradley is a pretty fragile card, so just be cautious and try to use him to the best of your ability. Placing him behind or as far back as humanly possible is the best strategy. Even if you have tanks at the midline or even on the enemy side of the field, playing Archangel Bradley in the far back can keep him alive a little bit longer. He does have fairly decent movement speed, but he's not super gun-ho fast either. But as a fighter card, you're not really utilizing him for his main attack or what he's doing by flying through the air. As his attack speed is pretty slow and doesn't do a ton of damage unless boosted by something like one of the Kyles or any of the other damage boosting versions. Obviously, he cannot be boosted by Frontier Bradley because, again, you can't have two Bradleys on the field at the same time. So, yes, even though he's a fighter card, he cannot be boosted by his own Bradley version, which that would just be... I wouldn't even say that'd be OP. I don't even think that'd even be that great, to be honest with you. But yeah, just take that into consideration as well. But there is some potential upside with Archangel Bradley. Again, it's all just going to be situational, and we're just going to have to wait and see what kind of combinations work really well with him. I think that all of the combinations that I've kind of given you could be useful, but I'm not saying they're always going to be the best either. And of course, new cards will be coming into the game later on as well, and those could potentially be very good to be paired with him also. And he could also be changed as far as his scaling is concerned, his health, his cost, whatever. 
in the future so be mindful that this could change in the future in that regard as well All right, guys, well, there you go. That is a pretty in-depth guide of Archangel Bradley, the newest card being added to Phone Destroyer in this weekend event. It is now live uh, for all of you to play if you haven't been able to play it as of yet. Trying to make this video before I go to work today so you guys can potentially have the best potential uh, strength with Archangel Bradley as you go through this weekend event. I will be grinding the weekend event on my main account uh, at some point during this weekend and trying to get... Um, it completed so hopefully this again helps you out if there are any other uh suggestions that you have that i didn't give you in this video please put it in the comments below for anyone newer to the game or after this long after this video is out to potentially uh think of some other cards that could be boosted by archangel bradley i feel like this in-depth guide should be hopefully good enough to help you out in your foam destroyer uh matches going forward using this card thank you guys so much for watching i know uh this is still a fairly new series for me only two cards in to this series hopefully you guys still enjoy it hopefully it's still helpful to all of you and until next time guys my name is Drew.